A series of photographs captures the terrifying scene as the massive ship rolls 180 degrees. Marine investigators from three different countries are assigned to find out what went wrong. Right away, they're struck by the shocking speed of the disaster. It's so odd. How does a ship this big capsize so fast? Hans Joachim Muller is a marine surveyor and a consultant on the case. I learned that the ship capsized within four minutes. And this is very seldom. Normally, a ship shouldn't capsize within, uh, within four minutes. It's clear Rockness hit something that tore a hole in her side. But it's not clear how this hole could have triggered the disaster. The bottom of the ship, the starboard side of the ship, was ripped open for about 20 meters. Investigators calculate the 20-meter hole would have let in about 2,400 tons of water. It's a lot of water, but, but for a ship like this, 166 meters long is not so much. The hole simply isn't big enough to explain the capsize. There must be more to the story. So at first, my idea was that there was something wrong with the stability of the vessel. Investigators learned the rockness was modified and then relaunched just eight months earlier. The ship was a former bulk carrier and redesigned as a rock dumper. When the ship was converted, there were 3,000 tons of iron castings added to the deck of that ship, which is a huge amount of weight. Because of additional structure on board the vessel, they altered the complete stability of the vessel. Is it possible her top-heavy design is why she capsized so quickly? The only way to find out is to recover the ship's computers from inside the wrecked ship. I think that it was critical to have this information from the computers because they can restore it. The delicate electronics have been soaked in seawater. No one knows if the data has survived. 